Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. Oh, I can't wait tonight. It's going to be a real treat. So tonight, we're going to be reviewing none other than the Remus Repeal Reserve 5. We are what some might consider fashionably late to this review party on this one. Um, yes, this was a 2021 release. Unfortunately, not released in the great state of Pennsylvania. So it took me a while to get my hands on one of these. So you might wonder, uh, it was not in my uh, top 10 bourbons of 2021. Reason was, didn't have it when I uh, filmed that video. So. If you care at all, you're going to get my tasting notes on it today, but uh, it's pretty much universally regarded as uh, dang delicious for this year, right? So let's take a look at the bottle. There it is. The beautiful Remus Reserve 5. Look at that. I mean, have you ever seen just such a stately bottle? Look at it. It just looks wealthy when you see a bottle like that. Um, I mean, simple facts here, 100 proof, so 50% alcohol by volume for those that uh, think of it that way. The color on this is pretty dark, it's pretty dark. There's a lot of good attention to detail. We have the George Remus name just stamped into the cork. Can you believe that? In two spots, no less. Um, let's see what's on the back here. The tasting notes they give you on the bottle says... Leads with dried fruit, rich caramel, maple syrup, roasted nuts and leather. Sounds like uh, you know an old cowboy camp, doesn't it? Um, and then it says uh, you know it includes some chocolate, glazed nuts, and oak. A lot of nuts they're talking about in this here. Um, in short, Remus Repeal Reserve is the best we make. If you don't know, MGP does put out a cheaper bottle. It's not the Remus Repeal Reserve. It's just. A smaller bottle. I'll throw a picture of it up here on the screen. But this is their once a year release. It's the best thing they put out. Uh, MSRP on this is about 80 bucks, but the going rate today is about 80 to like 120. Um, is the going rate today? Now, what you've all been waiting for is how old is this Remus Repeal Five? Well, it'll be up on the screen because you know obviously it's pretty hard to read for you uh, here, but. This is 54% of a 2008 bourbon. So already off the bat, we're 54% of a 2000, what's that, 13 years? Better check that math, is that right, Rita? Jesus, all right. <laughs> all right, 54% is a 2008 bourbon, a 36% rye, so that is the high rye from MGP. 13% is also a 2008 bourbon, but it's only the 21% rye. So let's, this is math is getting tough here, but let's, if we can do this, it's 67% is a 13 year bourbon. 67% of this is 13 years old. So already off the bat, we're not off to a bad start on this blend. Then we have 19% is a 2006, 15 year, 21% rye, 5% 2006, 36% rye. So man, 24% is now 15 years old. But wait, there's one more. We have a 2005 bourbon, 9% of this blend, a 21% rye, a 16 year old in here. So we're talking 13 to 16 years old in this blend, predominantly 13 years of age, but a good portion is older. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. It's, uh, it's dark, but it's not it's not midnight black or anything like that in the glass. Uh, you might uh, notice my sweet shirt. That's right, we're branded now on this channel. All right, let's give it an old nosing. Oh my God. One of the best noses I've ever smelled. Oh, gosh, a lot of sweet oak. I get a ton of caramel brown sugar. Believe it or not, I do get that dried fruits note, but 
but to me it's more like a cherry pie I, I wouldn't say there's multiple fruits in here I get kind of just like a nice dark cherry on here cherry pie cherry crust cherry pie crust I mean all things you would expect on a 13 year MGP bourbon let's take a sip wow Whew, that's good that is delicious um still going like medium finish on that I would say it's not it's not super long finished but it's a good finish um, on this bourbon uh, it's not super oily on the mouthfeel but it is pretty thick for a hundred proof right I'll, I'll, I'll say that it's one of the thickest hundred proof bourbons I've ever had taste wise I get a nice layering of oak I get like the brown sugar the caramel and then like the spice comes on at the end and it kind of finishes out with like uh, there's a there's a leather note on the end that finishes out but I get like a burst of cherry the oak comes down through it a little bit of caramel maybe, maybe maybe a hint of vanilla on this and then I get um, just that like a like the spice settles in towards the end of the drink let's take a second sip that's phenomenal again I get the cherry, maybe a few other fruits up front, but that's what hits first. And I get the oak, the caramel, kind of going down. Then there's some spice, and then it ends with with a little bit of a leather. I, don't, I wouldn't really say tobacco, but a little bit of a leather, and then some some drier oak on through. It's not drying. Uh, it's just so well put together. Who? Uh, what grade would I give this? A plus. A plus. Uh, had this been in my uh, top 10 of 2021, it definitely would have made that list. Um, it probably would have made fourth or fifth. It's that good. So again, I know I'm late to this party, but um, if you're still sleeping on it, if you can still find it in your area, uh, buy a backup. You know, they do not come out this good that often. Uh, what you should pay for it. Again, MSRP was $80. Um, I would say feel comfortable paying upwards of 100 to 120 for this bottle. Uh, it's easily worth that. If I saw one on the shelf for 120 bucks, my wallet would be open and out. Um, it's that good. So, if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more videos soon.